Hi guys, I'm Mohammad Shahzad. Okay, let's see our another video for uh, related to Windows Microsoft cluster and we are working on Windows 2012 server. We already created last video regarding my adding a witness server before that uh, how to install a failover cluster and before that we have seen my video and learned how to join a domain controller and if we go back the first video of this playlist and series uh, how we can install the domain controller if you haven't seen the previous videos I would suggest you go back and see all the videos in my playlist and then come back and listen this video so this video is going to be really interesting now it's the final stage of our any resource which we are going to present to our uh, clients to connect and um, this resource uh, will move from primary to secondary server and secondary to primary we can do a failover if this server goes down this resource will be available from this server and if this server down this resource will be available from this server so this is the uh, video today adding a role to the failover cluster okay so as you know uh, i told you before this is the fourth ip uh, which we required for two node failover cluster like first ip for this node second ip for this node and uh, this ip for our main cluster and this for our adding a role this ip will be given to role okay let's go and do some things before starting our lab i will go on windows i told you that if you are going to add a role sometime you will face an issue in our you know if i open my failover cluster sorry stopping a service okay so both nodes are up and role is not there this one also we can open here and meanwhile see the services <coughs> our cluster services are running on node 2 as well we can see good to go node both are green and up and running there is no rule yet okay and cluster service up. and this one also cluster service we can see up here if i go and show you the cluster service is up and running okay so let's start before starting adding any role in the failover cluster i told you sometime when you create a role here so your role is keep uh, down and up down and up like it's not coming online the reason because in domain controller your role cannot uh, your failover cluster cannot add a object which is a computer object and this guy this failover cluster name should have a full control on the container where your role going to be added so we are expecting our role will be here because windows 2012 servers so automatically my domain will check this one and add a role here but sometimes it goes in a default container so you make sure both containers this uh, our failover cluster have a full rights on that so here is this guy full right and also on this control container because we don't know if it is going to select this one or the main one okay so good to go so i'll go back here we'll go on our roles and in our roles we can create a just to check a dummy and empty row to check if it is all going good i can create or here you can see this one is created without any resource it's a empty and right now the owner is this and i can move to best available it's going to the now node 2 the 2 is owner of this one i'll close this one and open on my node 2 also failover cluster 
so in the failover cluster role you can see this is the empty role and I can move back to my select a node first one go back now the owner node is one and it's running so I'll go back I will delete this one and we are going to create with the resource I'll remove by the way this one will not create any um, object so let's go I have some uh, one filezilla um, I think setup here copied I will run this one as a server so FTP server it will install and a uh, service there so we'll use this one as a our resource <clears throat> so we have a uh, filezilla okay let's see this service is up and running filezilla okay filezilla server up and running and uh, startup type is automatic keep note that startup time is uh, uh, type is automatic similar we'll go on node 2 if i have here also in the documents let's see no i'll copy from the other side my witness run direct from here next 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 okay next install so right now my both nodes have a FTP server which is filezilla we just install and uh, if we see here also on the second node this filezilla is also running and type is automatic we want at a time uh, to run filezilla uh, and right now it's running on both servers and clients don't know and don't have a role so we want at a time when client come here client should not know that if it is running on here and there on the back end cluster should manage this one will be active and this one is on the second and on our node will be here okay let's go back we'll go on here okay node one let's start adding configure our role next and we'll choose here because it's a service so we'll go in generic service next okay saying what I will select filezilla server FTP server next and give a name FTP server and I'll give a IP address 214 which is our this IP address for the virtual and I'll go back this one okay next okay next don't have any storage or application next confirmation next okay finish and let's see our filezilla is getting up hopefully it will be okay see it is up and running and uh, our owner node is node 1 which is this one and let's go on a domain controller refresh here you go here is our FTP role and I will do one more thing on that properties because my owner node for this one is my two servers I'll bring them here also to further stop the issues and errors dash node check these two is the owner okay why okay full I okay good to go okay so this one is done here second I will go you see right now it's a uh, filezilla and I, I meanwhile uh, for testing you can increase the prefer node I uh, mind this one and failover I can see have my 10 failovers in a one hour or six hours if you want to minimize this you want a testing purpose only these suggestions okay so right now my owner node is 2 
and second node is this one and if we see on the second our service should be stopped and it will automatically go into manual see refresh refresh on the node is Give a refresh refresh okay let's move this one and check file z log normal behavior okay here is manual it should also be uh it came into automatic maybe it's a file zilla some options file zilla problems anyway FileZilla services keep starting automatic at automatic we, we can change it because the cluster always use the manual mode and then it will go to the start okay this is starting this is manual and this should also be manual cluster will do automatic but you know FileZilla may be trying to do okay and should we stop here okay refresh because some applications they do automatic start and other okay let's see here we'll go in our failover and let's try to move it to best possible node it will try to go on two it will bring up there okay it's up online and on node 2 it's up and running so we'll go refresh filezilla is running here in manual mode and node 1 it will be stopped automatic so this is the it's depend on your application behavior what kind of applications you have and do it so right now see here is running because our owner node is 2 here is on our node is two and here is stopped because this one is one is not on our node that's great so keep in mind go through all these steps and you will not face any error or issue here if you do this thing again reminder the cluster name should have a full right here and on the containers so if we see the third object is created so this one was our adding a role to the failover cluster hopefully you will like it and if you like just click on like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming great videos thank you very much